How's it going everybody, it's Colossalis here, welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. Today we are taking a look at... Taking a look? We're taking a look at one of my favorite supports in the entire game. I was a fan of his since the... Basically since he came out during the uh, the, the Eternal Conflict, the Diablo event that was going on a long, long time ago. It was like a year ago or something. I think that, I think that, that's when it was. Uh, you know, it's not the Machines of War, it's the one before. The one was, the, the latest one was from StarCraft, the previous kind of event like that was from Diablo, and that was called Eternal Conflict, if you haven't been here for that long. I, again, one of my favorite supports, uh, when he launched I was still playing for the uh, competitive team in the UK, um, I'm still not able to say who it was just because the, the non-disclosure agreement is still holding me for two more years. That's how esports used to be, by the way, which is just stupid. It's actually much better uh, today, but I'm just not going to get into that. Re he was very good. He didn't launch overpowered or underpowered. Um, I don't think they tweaked him at all after the, the launch as well. I don't remember anything like any tweaks. It might have been the healing from the from the from the from the divine palm, which I'll, which I'll be talking about next. But um, he is very similar to one of the other supports, Rhaegar. Not in his healing, you know, not in the healing and his utility, but in his heroics. Divine Palm and Ancestral Healing are very similar in their functionality. Ancestral Healing is a little bit easier to use just because um, when somebody is getting low, you can just press R and hope that you, you get it in time to heal them to full health almost. You know, it depends on the, of course, the, the full health, the, what's the maximum HP for, the, for, the, for that character. But with Monk, with Karazim is actually much much more tricky because you have to make sure that your friendly dies and right before he dies you apply the, the Divine Palm um, and then if he dies during the, the three seconds after you applied the, the Palm he's gonna be not resurrected but he's not gonna die he's gonna go into stasis heal for the huge amount and just gonna go straight back into fighting, which you know, if you, like, if you think about it, it can just throw off people's like in even more than ancestral healing. It was so good in the fights, right? Like you would be losing a fight, maybe one person would be just be bursted down, bam, palm saves them, and then the entire team just kind of flips, you know, flips on its head, defeats the the, the team that was winning in the first place, and you know, just because the enemy team used the, all the CC, all the burst damage they had on that one character, which was saved by the palm. And that's what was the strength of, of the monk. He fell out, fell out of the meta just because Rhaegar got buffed. Honestly, he was like at 40% win rate at one point just because Rhaegar was at 60 something. Um, it was nuts. And honestly, you know, all the other supports were very low as well. But Karazim was, was the lowest just because of the similarity in the heroics. He has been, of course, Rhaegar has been nerfed. And Karazim now has received the full rework, giving him some new toys to play with, and he's actually super interesting. There are two builds circulating for him: is the auto attack build, kind of a full damage, um, full damage monk, and the healing, the full healing, which is, which I'm a big fan of. I'm always about healing boys. I'm the main, I'm the main support in this bitch. So hopefully we can we can do a full healing game right now. But if not, I will just go. If if we're gonna get a second support. I'm going to go for full DPS monk. So let's see what we can do and let's jump into some Karazim. Yitar, guide my path. Well, All right, boys and girls, and find yourselves. Is this a coincidence that we find ourselves on the Battlefield of Eternity, which was the map launched during the event of um, of the eternal conflict Kara heal spec I know I got you boo uh, we're gonna go for the full healing spec I'm actually super psyched about that <laughs> um, people already <laughs> telling me to go full healing brother uh, yeah it's just like whenever you get a second support sure it is okay to go for the damage build but when you when you're soul support, it's, I think it's still better, 100% almost all the time, actually all the time, to go with the full healing build. As our Q ability, we have Radiant Dash, it allows me to dive to my friendlies like that, but also dive to enemies like that. Um, very, very good for mobility. Just, just, just a super strong ability, it allows me to stay, stay mobile in any fight. And... Um, 
yeah, honestly, that's that's all it is. I just use my W ability there, which is his group heal. Uh, what it allows me to do, it, it basically heals uh, it heals all friendlies in, in a certain area um, for a certain amount and also gives them 10% movement speed, which is, which is pretty good, you know, a lot of utility. Um, I can just kind of um, stand here and heal. On our E ability is called the Deadly Reach. I can just stand here, uh, it increases my movement speed, no movement speed, uh, my attack speed and my attack range by 100%. Baby, what, what do you want from me? Why did you die? Why did you die, Bab? Why did you die, Bab? Well, he was he was upstairs, so you shouldn't have uh, overextended over the wall like that. Okay, I'm just gonna dash to him, heal him a little bit, and that's gonna last for two seconds, boys. Two seconds. Gonna get this glow. Awesome. On number one, we picked up our trait. Uh, basically, it's kind of a, actually. Let's attack him. We picked up our trait. Every third basic attack is going to heal the ally that needs it the most um, by a certain amount, right? So, oh, I, I didn't heal him. Uh, there's a heal. Can, I, can we get him? Can we get this bright way? No, we can't. I don't, I, I don't think we can. Anyway, yeah, so it's going to heal the, the, the ally next to me that actually needs it the most. Um, for a certain amount. Guys, this, this is Greyman is just on me. I didn't get mana. And I got stunned and then stabbed to death by Abathur. I don't know what, what our, where Samuro is. I think she just he, he just backed for um, for mana and health. Maybe, maybe we're already going ham on the Immortal will be able to... Um, Give us a little bit of a lead on the start on that, but then of course they have Greymane, so they'll be able to just deal a massive damage to the immortal itself. Uh, now Jamuro, uh, Jamuro, now Samuro joins the fight and allows us to actually secure the first phase. That's pretty, pretty impressive, guys. Pretty goddamn impressive. We're gonna re rejoin the team right here, but we are um, a talent here below everybody else right now. And actually, talent, uh, talent number four is it really good. We're gonna try to kill this Brightwing. We do succeed in that, and now we are on the on the run. I will be able to give my friendlies the additional attack speed which they need, and now we should just back back into the objective. On this other range, I'm gonna go for Spirit, or Spirit Ally. I just I think I just prefer it um, in the full healing spec um, to the Earth Ally. Even if, even if the enemy has you know some heavy attack damage. If they're like all attack damage, sure, I, I'm gonna go Earth Ally. But if they're you know if they're at least somehow magey kind of uh, kind of um, team, then I will go for the healing ally. You can see that this is actually one of the one of the kind of new toys that uh, that the monk has received. Basically, it allows you to kind of place this this uh, this this kind of like a figure that is somehow similar to you. Uh, let me just jump out of there. Similar to you, kind of in a, in a certain in a certain phase, I'm gonna try to heal everybody. I'll be actually good at healing he, healing my friends here because they do clump up a lot. And let's just back, baby. You should you should go with it. And thank you should go bottom. Just split push, get that XP. You get a fat stacks of XP, bro. Let me heal my friendlies here, activate my E to just deal a lot, a lot of damage and also, you know, just increase, incre increase my uh, attack speed to just get that... Um... Oh, he's gonna actually be punished, I think. Actually, no, he's not gonna be punished, but... We almost got him, we almost got him, bam. Let me heal everybody again. Awesome, beautiful! Everybody just staying around me, allowing me to heal them for the most amount. Yeah, so again, this place is this, this ally. Uh, you have choice of three, you have either the, the healing ally, uh, which which is kind of like a, what is it called the the healing ward I think that's what it's called um, then you have let's actually back here back 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 I have no mana boys Ooh, very nice stun. We might secure us a kill here on the enemy Greyman who went a little bit too far. Yeah, so the, so it's like kind of heal, like a heal, healing ward. Uh, the second one, which is called Earth Ally, reduces all damage taken by friendlies from basic attacks by 50%, which is just amazing because it just lasts so long. 
it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like a storm shield, you know, kind of in a sense, right? It's kind of like a hardened shield. It's actually a little bit less of a hardened shield, but it's a lesser hardened shield to everybody around you for basic attacks. It's just super strong. I'm gonna come in here to help my girlfriend do this camp. On this damage, we're gonna go for Heavenly Zeal. It increases the bonus that you give of movement speed to your friendlies when you heal, heal them with your Breath of Heaven to 25% rather than just 10%, which is obviously very good for chasing, very good for escapes as well. Just kind of allowing you to... Baby, can you go top? Thank you, babe. I love you. Just kind of allow it, uh, just be careful up there. I'm uh, just kind of allowing you to um, you know, to be just uh, the, even more of a utility to your friendlies that you know than just healing. You also give them the 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 movement speed that they might need at, at a certain situation. Um, yeah. So at, again, uh, we we picked up the, the spirit ally, which is kind of, not not the spirit ally. The yeah, we picked up the spirit ally. And there's also an, an air ally at the end, uh, which allows you to kind of reveal the, the a certain area um, for a very short uh, amount of time. It also has the new functionality of the new scouting drone, which is, it also is going to reveal any enemies, uh, any stealth enemies. Fuck. What is it this? Uh, by the way, this is going to heal everybody in that in that area for two percent every second, and that's going to be actually in there for how many seconds? Because this is actually crazy. Ten seconds. So it should allow them, in theory, to heal for twenty percent of of their of their maximum health. Which, if you think about it, is just fucking nuts. I'll be able to kill my girlfriend here. Uh, here looks like we are able to pick up a kill on the enemy Grimmin down in the bottom lane, and we Gucci, we Gucci. Hopefully, we'll be able to like some of our friends will be able to die, so I can show off my divine palm. Divine palm, what it does when somebody dies with this on when the friendly dies with this on them, I can attach it to somebody, and if they die within three seconds of me attaching it, they will be kind of revived with uh, and actually healed for actually a very large, large amount. Hopefully I will be able to showcase it off, not F it up too much. Um, our, uh, let's just start dealing damage to this enemy. Very nice mosh, but it's gonna catch three members of the enemy team, allowing us to secure uh, one kill actually on the ATC, but also deal heavy damage to the enemy Brightwing and Varian. Very nice, very nice. Our team actually knows what they're doing. Finally! <laughs> I know I'm being a dick sometimes, but honestly, the the just some of the teams that I'm getting are just really annoying. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna come in here with a follow up, to, uh, and ho hopefully I'm gonna be polymorphed, which is actually good. They should be. For I, I want them to polymorph me just because I'm gonna give even more utility to my friendly team by by, by doing that. Just because we had Sylvanas in the last push, by the way, I just want to mention that we were able to push the entire fort, and. And actually, we are just even right here. We're just staying and kind of um, and kind of just um, chilling. We're just chilling. We're you know we're just killing things. It's just because my girlfriend took some of their attention away from us. Oh, well, we should just back now. We should definitely just back now. All right, maybe we'll be able to showcase the 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 functionality of our of our ultimate here. But hopefully now, let's let's hope that we do not we do not have the um, the chance for that. Let's kill this copy so it doesn't it doesn't cause us any pain in the asshole. We can go for quick silver. It allows us to to gain 30% movement speed when we teleport to somebody, but also give them the movement speed. So it kind of allows kind of allows uh, you know I, I can just give it here and you know he, he, he can just get the get the F out of there. I'm gonna place the ally right there. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is just gonna keep healing, keep healing and keep the lookout. If any of the friendlies are getting very low very low, just attach the the, the ultimate to them. Uh, by the way the enemy variant going for the twin blades of fury I was actually expecting him. Very nice mind control is gonna secure us a kill here on the enemy um Brightwing but he has a twin blades of fury so he can't do anything. What can he do, honestly, here? Like, nothing. He can just do nothing. He can just kind of stand there and attack, and, and it's just sustained damage. It's just sustained damage. Honestly, it's way... Oh, I attached it to myself. That was, that was a fail. I tried to attach it to my girlfriend there, but... What am I? I'm right here. <laughs> I, attach it to, I tried to attach it to my girlfriend there, but wasn't successful in doing so. I'm gonna just place the ally here, and I do have to bug... Actually, is this... Because this is a big game. 
I'm gonna give him the movement speed, but I wasn't I wasn't actually successful in doing so. I didn't have mana for anything else. I didn't have mana for a heal. I just had the mana for the Q. Oh, come here, boys and girls. <laughs> I was the only one actually doing something here. The, I was the only one auto attacking. Let's just back. We don't have mana. We are only they're on they're only on level twelve. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'll die, but no. Anyway. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun as shit. Yeah, so again, I just kind of um, explain this. When you when we radiant dash to somebody, we're gonna give them the movement speed and also give it to ourselves. Uh, our summer is gonna be taken out as well. We are just giving our our enemy a chance to come back for no reason. Even though they're almost without any structures, we almost took this down. Like somebody farts on it, and I think it's gonna just fall over. Yes, yeah, so I was going to talk about um what has changed? It was mainly his talents. It was it was actually it was only his talents. He received, of course, the, you know the new toys, which are you know which are the allies and stuff like that. Uh, I'm on the way, but I'm not there, boys and girls. Oh my god, the ETC might be dead. Actually, he's fine with with the W. He's able to get out of there. Uh, I will be able to heal my friendlies up here when I actually get to them. And just place down the ally, and now I can auto attack with my trait, which I picked up. Of course, it's transcendence, uh, which heals everybody. Uh, well, here's a person around me uh, every third basic attack, and I can just out heal. Can just, and you can see all my friends are, are are at full health. Very, very good. Like he's one of the best healers I think right now in the meta. My girlfriend is going to start the camp, which is obviously a pretty good idea because all the camps actually disappear when you start the objective. Okay, but what has changed? It mainly his talents. His talents were like their most of their functionality was most of the functionality of, of the old talents was reworked. They were swapped around in different tiers, uh, which kind of gave the birth of this new kind of breed of um, of, of of the monk. But let me heal up my girlfriend here, and uh, we will be fine. The enemy Grayman looking for some kills down in the actually baby. What the hell was that? That was just a copy. On this top range, we are going to go for Echo of Heaven. It's gonna make our W heal for only 75% of its heal, but it's also going to heal the second time after three seconds. Here's a mind control coming down on the enemy very. I'm gonna place this down. I can't do anything about it, by the way. Um, uh, the enemy DC is going down right now. Let's kill this guy. Let's heal our friendlies here. Let's jump into the enemy variant, and honestly, I, I cannot even goddamn use my uh, my um, my divine palm right here. This is just crazy, boys. I can't even use my divine palm, and it looks like this is gonna be game. <laughs> I can't even use my divine palm. Let's use it on myself. I didn't show you guys the most important thing: the divine palm from Karazim. Is is one of his important, like, most important um, parts of his kit, honestly. Tigers with the MVP will be the best mofo on the on the block. Um, so let's see. Yeah. So again, some of them changed tier. Some some of them changed uh, changed uh, functionality. Almost all of them changed their functionalities. Besides, of course, the heroics. Some of those changes just made him better than the other supports in certain aspects, but also made them worse in other aspects. For example, one of the worst aspects is most of the supports get cleansed at level 7, right? That's just a normal. He gets it at level 16 with a special talent, but he can get three cleanses, basically. How is that even possible? Let's see how we did. Dude, look at this. 62,000 healing, 35,000 healing. That's good to me. That sounds. That looks real nice to me. I just died probably one time, uh, one one time too much, but I think that was okay. Let's say very good. Let's see what they gave us. Great job! You had 16 takedowns during the match, while similar players played players average 12.4. Good. We did something good. Let's go over the bill again and actually explain what I meant uh, by what I was saying before. Um, so he at level 16 he can get. Cleansing touch with rage, radiant dashing to an ally makes them unstoppable for one second. Which honestly, you can give it to three different people, and it on it's on a ten second cooldown. So it is better in a certain way, but it's worse just because it comes in much much later. Uh, it's going to be really good in the late game, but it's going to be much better than like just a normal cleanse in the late game. 
but again you have to give up certain talents for it and you're not going to get it in the early game so that's exactly what i mean some of them i'm not going to of course you know point out every single one of those changes how they how it feel how that how it fits you're gonna have to uh, kind of um, either ask me down in, in the in the comments below or kind of maybe figure it out by yourself uh, the playstyle is staying mobile is auto attacking you have to be you have to stay mobile to um, stay annoying to the enemy you have to be you know one second you're there one second you're there and you, you have to be constantly auto attacking because every third basic attack will be healing you or uh, lowest nearby allied hero so it kind of works similar to how lily's jobs work the lowest uh, lowest on health percentage wise by the way um hero will receive the heal um so as full healing you should always keep one charge of dash always no matter what um so you can use one but always always keep the second for escapes or for dashing to a friendly in very critical situations where you have to heal them or apply your palm. You have to make sure that your palm actually hits because it has a very short range. Therefore, I always, when I play support charism, I always keep one. Well, in this video, I didn't just because I want to showcase the character, but in most of the games where I'm actually trying to stay competitive, I try to keep one stack of my Q, of my device, of my dash. Um, on me so i can use it in critical situations to escape or again to heal somebody in critical situation or or apply the palm uh, try to hit as many friendlies with your heals and so what i mean by that you have to stay in the middle of friendlies like this my team we won because we were staying together and i was able to get get right in the middle and give them all the healing love that they needed it is just it was just uh, that's why we won like that was straight up why we won because like we didn't have any problems with the enemy team actually bursting us down of course you saw we died a few times when we split but we, when we kept together i was there to heal everybody up and then another thing is timing your palm timing your palm is very hard like when you start when you get into karazim uh, you will be actually you will want to pick up seven sided strike, seven -sided strike just because divine palm is pretty hard to hit what makes it easier and what actually makes it easier to um, practice is peaceful repose at level 20 upgrade, which I will um, which I will explain in a second. I'm gonna go over the build. So transcendence level one again it heals of every third basic attack. Level four we did go for spirit ally, which pl which again places his ally, which you can also teleport to, which also is kind of allows you to make some nice plays, and it heals everybody every second for two percent of the maximum health which again obviously is just super super good um on level seven i did go for heavenly zeal i just want to go back to, to for this for a second if the enemy team is very highly focused on on basic attacks or even or has the butcher illidan tracer or somebody like that i think earth ally is just straight up better than earth their spirit ally but spirit ally will give you shit ton of healing some people underestimate this and honestly it might be a little worse than this just because this gets 400 health this gets 150 health so this is much easier to destroy and then this especially that auto attacks are dealing less damage in that area um but um still i think spirit ally is kind of competitive with earth ally but i think earth ally should still receive a little bit of a nerf a little bit of a nerf on level seven i did go for heavenly zeal increasing the movement speed of my friendlies level 10 divine palm i didn't actually showcase it off but it's actually super good protect and uh, an allied hero from death causing them to be healed by blah 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 if they take fail damage in the next three seconds it allows you to do so many plays and it's been a turning point of so many battles in competitive and hero league team league you name it it's just a really strong heroic on 13 we did go for the quicksilver which again the dashing to an ally allows me allows to get allows me to give myself and a friendly additional movement speed to maybe get it, get away from a situation or maybe actually and in, in, actually give that additional engage to us to to a certain somebody level 16 with a go for an echo of heaven which heals a second time and on a level 20 but of course the 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 breath of heaven is now going to heal for only 75 percent of its original so you have to be care you have to be careful it gives you a lot of more mobility right so you can maybe somebody somebody needs healing in two different spaces so you, you dash to them 
press your W and then you, you dash to the other group of your friendlies and, and it's going to heal 3 seconds after there as well, which is also obviously pretty goddamn nice. And level 20 I would have went probably with the Storm Shield. Uh, Peaceful Repose again is only if you're practicing your, your palm and you do really want to get good at it. Divine Palm cooldown is set to 5 seconds if the hero does not die. So if you miss the palm, um, for, let's say for example your your friendly does not die during that 3 seconds, you, this is going the cooldown is not going to be the full 60 seconds, but it's just going to be the 5 second short cooldown. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, leave a like rating if you haven't already if, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, check out my streams because I do stream a lot, I'm actually not be in tomorrow, but I will be in at some point and I will see you guys in the next one, which is probably going to be Damage Karazin.